Wow, 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 Donald Trump going bankrupt soon. More than $300 million to buy and build Trump Turnberry in Ayrshire and Trump International Golf Course in Aberdeenshire. More than $8 million in 2020 and $5.3 million in 2021. It strongly suggests that there is a lot of total damage. According to the report published by the New York Times in 2020, 15 classes of former presidents around the world lost $315 million in 20 years. But Portico reported in 2023 that Trump's FEC filings showed he earned as much as $555 million from the golf course between January 2022 and April 14, 2024. This isn't the first time the Trump golf course has run into financial trouble. Trump National Doral in Miami appeared to have trouble attracting customers in November as discounts were offered at tea time. Online financial information provided in 2020 shows that Doral had revenues of $75 million and profits of $4.3 million in 2017. Revenue fell below $45 million in 2020. Some of Trump's properties, such as Mar-a-Lago and another golf resort in Florida, are undergoing a public hearing in New York after State Attorney General Letitia James's office sued Trump last year. I think there's a good chance that by the end of business today, Wednesday, January 31st, Donald Trump will just be flat out bankrupt. I'm referring to the civil fraud case in New York. Uh, and why do I pick today? I pick today because the judge in that case picked today. Judge said that this was his target date for uh, issuing his ruling. Quick reminder of what we're talking about, Donald Trump has been accused of fraud, um, grossly misrepresenting the value of his properties uh, in ways that would suit him, either overstating their value so he could qualify for more loans or grotesquely understating their value for a whole variety of other motives. Uh, the New York Attorney General is seeking $370 million uh, from Trump and also is recommending that all his business operations in the state of New York be dissolved. The only real hot takey kind of stuff I have to offer, which is not particularly a hot take, is that I think it's probably going to be a ruling for more than $370 million. I now think we're probably looking at something more in the vicinity of half a billion dollars, 500 million, give or take 50, why don't we say. I could be way off on that. Anybody who makes an attempt at a hot take uh, always runs that risk, but that's what I'm predicting. And Hello friends, we have come to the end already. Have you subscribed yet? Yes, press the subscribe button and also the like button and also the share button. And thank you very much and have a nice day.